real. He's real. He is a real NFL football, not even just player, but a person. Andy Isabella is real. The guy that we saw on the Cardinals, he wasn't a myth. The guy that the Ravens signed to the practice squad, it feels like ages ago, he wasn't a myth. He's real because he has been called up for the game tomorrow against the Atlanta Falcons. Can y'all believe it? Can y'all believe it? Like this, this, is, this is crazy. We've been asking about this guy week after week after week after week after week. Rashad Bateman went down. He was hurt. Ravens brought in Andy. I believe they brought in Andy Isabella even before they signed Deshaun Jackson. I'm pretty sure, but let me know if I'm wrong because y'all know I'll be wrong with a lot of stuff. But Andy Isabella, the guy who we, the Ravens, it's like, it's weird because it was announced that the Ravens were signing Andy Isabella to the practice squad. And then it was like, oh, oh, wait a minute. Andy Isabella did not get signed to the practice squad yet. Then it was like, okay, Andy Isabella's in Baltimore. He's officially signed with the Ravens practice squad. It's like, okay. But then after that, we never heard from him again. Never heard about him again. Didn't hear about him in practice anything. Didn't, hear, didn't even know what number he was wearing. Don't even know what number he's wearing. I guess we'll find out tomorrow, but he is real. This is, this is crazy. This is crazy. But Welcome. Let's read the the report straight from the Baltimore Ravens. It said, we have elevated wide receiver Andy Isabella. That's crazy, right? Just to read that first part alone is crazy, right? But let's read the rest because we got some more stuff to talk about with this game. We have elevated wide receiver Andy Isabella and quarterback Anthony Brown from the practice squad for Saturday's game against the Atlanta Falcons. Now, I want to say, is this Anthony Brown's third call up? Because it'll be Falcons. He got called up last week against the Browns. And then he get called up against the Steelers too, right? So, yeah, this I think this will be his third call up since he's on the practice squad. So for Anthony Brown, if this is his third call up, y'all let me know if I'm wrong. But if this is his third call up, then the Ravens would either have to put him on the active roster or they would need to release him from the practice squad. And then he would have to clear waivers. Nobody else would sign him. Would, and then they could sign him back to the practice squad again. And that's if they wanted to keep him around. So you got two options. So, Because, again, when you call up somebody from the practice squad three times, if you want to keep them around, you either put them on the roster or they go back to the practice squad. So we'll see what happens with that. Now, it's funny um, because Devin DuVernay, we know Devin DuVernay, um, he was used as a kick returner, as a wide receiver, as a jet sweep king. And he lost his crown for a little bit early on this season. He lost his crown. DuVernay was like, I don't want to be no jet sweep king. I'm relinquishing my crown. Give it to somebody else. But then Greg Roman ended up giving him his crown back. He was like, no, you're you going to be running them jet sweeps, buddy. You think, you think you're getting away from the jet sweeps? Oh, no, buddy. you running them jet sweeps. So he got his crown back. He went from the uh, prince, then he went back to the king again. So with him being out, you need someone. When a the, when the king dies, you need somebody to take the king's place. Andy Isabella, you have been chosen, my friend. You've been chosen, my friend. And, and the reason why I say that is because the Ravens are setting it up. Ryan Mink, he wrote this article. And let, let, let's read about it. Let's read some little excerpts about it. He said, Ravens have elevated wide receiver Andy Isabella and quarterback Anthony Brown for Saturday's game against the Atlanta Falcons. It will be Isabella's first game as a Raven after signing to the practice squad on October 10th. The Ravens may be looking for Isabella to replace the speed element lost by Devin DuVernay's foot injury, which sent him to injury reserve this week. Then he listed the draft. Oh, I, I just read it. A former second round pick in 2019, Isabella ran the 40 yard dash in the 427 seconds in the combine. The 5'9 speedster never broke out in his three seasons in Arizona, but made some big plays along the way, registering 31 catches and 426 yards and three touchdowns. Now, the Ravens, they love that, but where, where Ravens really fell in love with Andy Isabella, it was this past preseason. Y'all remember? Remember the battles that he was having with Brandon Stevens in that preseason game against the Cardinals? I do. I know y'all do too. But anyway, here we go. This is it right here. This is the kicker. This is the one. The Ravens often utilize DuVernay as a lateral speed threat in their offense, using him on jet sweeps and, at the least, a decoy to stretch. <laughs> yeah, okay. But anyway, it said, let me, let me start over. The Ravens often utilize DuVernay as a lateral speed threat in their offense, using him on jet sweeps and, at the least, a decoy to stretch the defense and open up running lanes. Isabella could offer a similar threat. 
Ask Thursday whether the Ravens feel like there's one player who can fill DuVernay's void or committee. Head coach John Hardball said it's a mix of those two. So Ryan Mink trying to let you know, like, hey, you, you thought just because the jet sweep king is gone that he won't be replaced? Oh, oh we got something for that. But anyway, um, shout out to Andy Isabella. Excited to see him go to work. And we're definitely going to be hoping that he goes off. Is he going to be a returner? Oh, cool. Is he going to be a receiver? All right, cool. But is he going to be the jet sweep master? Yeah, even cooler. So, um, Andy Isabella and Anthony Brown, they got called up. Now, in more serious news, um, Josh Bynes, who has been an active and 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 an active, they released him. They waved him. They cut him. Whatever you want to call it. Um, Josh Bynes is somebody who had been the hero. Josh Bynes has continued to be the hero, the hero for the Baltimore Ravens. Um, he played back when Ray Lewis was playing. He was a hero back then. He filled in for him back then. And then all these years later, because remember, Josh Bynes, he was the one that made that last tackle in the Super Bowl game against the 49ers. He, it was him. He was the one that sealed the deal uh, for the Ravens to win the Super Bowl. But Josh Bynes, he has been a Ravens hero. He's been their go-to guy. Um, back in 2019, when they had uh, Peanut, uh, Patrick Onwasu, they had Kenny Young, um, the Ravens were like, oh, we don't know about that. We don't know about these guys. Then they traded Kenny Young. Um, then they end up signing Josh Bynes and LJ Fort, and they held it down. Um, then Josh Bynes, he came back again uh, when they, things were a little shaky with Patrick Queen, I think, the year at, what was it, 2021? And then they signed him again in 2022. So they, they just keep bringing Josh Bynes back over and over. But now, um, really ever since Roquan Smith, ever since Roquan Smith, Josh Bynes been inactive a lot. And I think, I want to say actually maybe right before Roquan Smith, I think he was inactive in that Tampa Bay game. And the Tampa Bay game was before Ravens got Roquan Smith. I'm pretty sure. But y'all, again, like always, like I keep saying, let me know if I'm wrong. But anyway, they... um. They waived Josh Bynes because he, they weren't using him at all anymore, like for nothing. Uh, but they uh, added, they signed Isaiah Mack to the 53-man roster. Isaiah Mack, I believe, was on the practice squad. And what he is going to be doing is filling that role for Calais Campbell, uh, who is out for, we don't know how long, but we'll see. Uh, because Calais Campbell, him being out is a big blow. Uh, because with Calais Campbell, it's like he doesn't make many flashy plays but he can make some special plays obviously the field goal block well that was a flashy play and a special play but sometimes with Calais Campbell when there'll be them plays where the, you think the, this little running back about to get a bunch of yards and Calais Campbell this dude wingspan is like 15 feet wide so he stretch his long arms around that running back and wrap him up and say oh you are not going anywhere and then it'd be like okay only a gain of one that's it Shout out to Calais Campbell, though. He will be missed. Oh, Marcus Peters. He's out the game. Oh, look at that. I'm going to watch over there connecting with me. But Marcus Peters, he'll be out the game tomorrow, too. That, oh, wow. I forget about that. So I thought Ardarius Washington was going to get called up for this game. But nope. Nope. So it'll be Marlon Humphrey. It'll be Brandon Stevens. Probably get some Pepe Williams. Um, Kevon Seymour, he'll probably have a lot more action tomorrow. Um, so yeah, we'll we'll see how it goes, man. But that's that. So yeah, Andy Isabella is happening. Um, it's funny because we we just recorded a question from subscriber video like maybe like four or five hours ago. We were gonna drop it tonight, but then I, I saw this Andy Isabella news. I said, wait a minute, the question from subscribers can wait. That can wait. We'll drop that tomorrow morning or another day or something like that. But um, my guy, Keon, who is a Team Keep It Clean patron, appreciate you. My guy, Keon, in that episode, he had asked, he said, hey, when, when, when are we going to find out about Andy Isabella? When are we going to find him? What's going on with Andy Isabella? And I told him, my answer to the question was like, hey, you, you probably know more than us. But look at that. Maybe he really did know more than us because the timing of that question and then this news comes out today. I don't know, coincidence? I think not. But just like Andy Isabella is no longer when it comes to being such a mystery for the Baltimore Ravens and just a mystery of a person, we out.